Aloha, Scorpio Rising family, and all of my astrology family in general. Welcome back to Kyle Astrology. And today's video is going to be another installment and segment in my ever continuing Scorpio Rising series. Without further ado, uh, I wanted to talk about something that has really been on my mind lately concerning Scorpio, Scorpio Rising specifically, and that is Scorpio Rising and boundaries. And I do want to say, of course, if you have Scorpio Sun or Scorpio Moon or just any Scorpio placements and Pluto stuff in general, this is going to apply as well. But I am talking specifically from my experience as a Scorpio Rising. Every Scorpio Rising and most Scorpio people, we have what I kind of want to call this invisible barrier. It's this boundary. It's kind of like this gate, if you want to call it that, that we have placed in front of us, behind us, on the sides of us. I'm talking every fucking angle you can come at with Scorpio, okay? Because people be coming from behind, they be coming from the sides, they come in from the top, the bottom, everywhere, okay? People try us, they want to get to know us very quickly, they want to, um, they want to be our friends really fast, and some of them don't want, you know, some of them are completely repulsed, but the ones, even some of the ones that are repulsed, they want to, like, try and get under your skin and just get really um, up in your grill without really knowing you. And we are the kind of people, we are very, um, we don't just trust any motherfucker. We're not like that. We're not going to just dish our entire life to you, even if you're coming up and doing it to us. We are not going to trust you immediately, we're not going to share certain details, but then... There's some people who, especially people that I like to call like airy fairy, um, these like airy fairy types that are really talkative and they're just kind of not really subtle feeling energy type people or they're not really empathic um, and they don't know how to like feel into subtle cues. Um, I have a specific, I have a few people in my own life I could name that I'm not going to, but. Um, you never know who's lurking on YouTube, but there are certain people who they just kind of jump the gun really fast and they want to get all up in it without really going through the proper kind of like prerequisite list, kind of like you have to take for like college classes to kind of get to that point you need to get to with us. You have to pass a lot of kind of tests with Scorpio Rising to to kind of get into our sphere because automatically we're going to have our guard up with you. Um, and don't get me wrong, I can be in social situations with people and be talkative and be outgoing out in public or when I'm meeting people or at work or wherever I am in life, but it doesn't mean I'm sharing personal details with people. Um, I can, I know how to be with people in those situations, but that doesn't mean I'm letting you into my personal life. And sometimes people take that as a sign as, oh, because he's talking to me or he's being this kind of way that, oh, I'm just, I, I'm in now. I'm like, I'm in the club. I, I got a subscription to that. I'm like, no, I did not add you to the mailing list. So don't get the wrong idea. And, you know, Scorpio is the type of energy, Scorpio and Sagittarius, I feel are both very direct, but in different ways. Sagittarius is kind of like in your face direct. Scorpio is direct with its intensity like you feel it but we're not always going to say like get the fuck up out of my face unless like you're really asking for it and you really really pushed us to that place because scorpio is a water sign we are feelers we are empathic we are subtle um in how we go about our actions in a sense so it's like if you're not feeling and picking up on those cues we're gonna have a problem with that and so when you kind of cross that barrier that we have and we haven't given you kind of like that energetic permission to do so, you're not gonna get a very good response from us. And so it, it still baffles me to this day when I get people who they try and act like they know me, they try and act like they can just, if let's say it's a friend of the family, but they're not like a one-on-one -on -one friend with me or wherever I'm living at the time, or if I'm like at my roommate's place, wherever, and you, they're gonna take that as a sign, oh, I'm here with this person so I can just walk in your room. I'm like, I don't know you like that. Don't come in my room, don't take my stuff, don't go through my things, um, don't talk to me about my family, my friends, my personal life, and they'll like ask you these questions and they'll probe you like, and want these intimate personal details. And I'm sitting here like, did I ever give you the invitation? Did I give you the right away to merge into my lane? 
because this is my lane, I'm driving in here, and you're swerving all up in my business, and I did not give you the fucking right, so stay in your lane, leave me the fuck alone. And that's the approach I have with people, because here's the thing, when I do let you into my life, and I trust you, whether you're an acquaintance, or you're a friend, or you're a really good friend, and you're like in that tight-knit circle that Scorpio only has a few select few, and if you're in that, and you're in my golden graces, that's great. But if I didn't let you there, and you're not one of those chosen few, we have an issue. Um, it's kind of funny because I think about, I had a recent job as a flight attendant, and I remember we had to um, go to four weeks of initial ground training before we started the job. So I had to move to another state for four or five weeks and do that. And there was a girl that I had met from my interview, and we were all, I had shared numbers with her before we left, and we had already been talking for a month before training, and we were what I consider pretty good friends. And we got there, and I ended up hitting it off with um, my roommate that I had when I was at training, and then there was another guy that we ended up getting along with. So all in all, there ended up being like a group of the four of us, myself included, that were really close. These three people I trusted, they were really down to earth, they gave me no reason to question their motives or doubt them, and there were so many, it was a class of 40 people, and out of those 40, out of those 40 people, excuse me, the three of them were the only ones that I trusted and really hung out with. Um, you know, I would study with other people sometimes and like keep things on a surface level, but as far as like real friendship goes, it was just the three of them and me. And so there were so many other people in our class that would get so offended that we didn't let um, the rest of them necessarily hang out with us. Not that, it's not like it's some mean girl situation where we're like, oh, you can't hang out with us. But, you know, we would go off and do our own thing on our lunch breaks. When we weren't in class, you know, we would all go out to eat together and go do fun things on the weekends. And it would just be us. And people would get upset that we didn't invite them. And it's like, excuse me. I didn't give y'all that permission, and so it's kind of that way with Scorpio. It's like people will get all mad and upset that they're not to that level with us, and it's like, I don't trust your ass. You are a fake person. You, I don't know you like that. And so that's just how we are. Mostly this has been my experience of Scorpio rising. I know a lot of Scorpio people deal with this with boundaries and these barriers that people just want to cross right over without us giving you that permission because... You know, you get a lot of air signs and fire signs that just socialize with anybody and everybody, and even water signs. I know Pisces is an energy that they kind of just, you know, will be friends with everyone. Even you can get that with Cancer a lot of the time. Um, Scorpio is not like that. So uh, that's been my experience. I'm sure this has been the experience of a lot of you guys as well. So leave in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from you guys and know what your take on all of this is as well. And um, if y'all are interested in a chart reading with me, please check out my website at uh, the link commented down below as well. And by the time I make this video, I may or may not have an Instagram and or Facebook page made for um, my astrology because I want to start making maybe live videos on Facebook and Instagram as well. So if that is up, those links should be down below uh, too. So check those out and um, thank you for tuning in guys and I'll be back with more videos soon. Much aloha and happy transiting.